Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a haul for you guys. I have been doing a lot of shopping lately. I've been getting a lot of skincare products, makeup products, and some clothing. So most of these products are from Walmart, but I have some items from Ardeans and from Winners, and I think that's about it. So we're just gonna jump in. I'm gonna start off with like clothing stuff, and then I'm going to show you the things I got at Walmart, which is mostly makeup. So the first thing that I got from Winners is this curler. So this, this is the 25 milliliter barrel one, and this is what I use to curl my hair today. I do not really like it. I don't think that it gives me the curls that I really want. I might try to look for one that's a little bit bigger, just because I like curls that are very beachy and um, very big. And these ones, although they're very beachy and stuff, they aren't really what I wanted my hair to look like. So I tried it out. I didn't really like it. I mean, it kind of just sold me because it was pink, to be honest. Um, but I think I'm going to see if I can return it. If not, then I'm just going to give it to a family or friend. But it really didn't hold a curl. Like, I had to hold my hair there longer. So, I don't really know. But if you guys want to see me do a curly hair tutorial, let me know down below. Because I can film one for you guys. I'll just have to get another curler. The other things that I got was from Ardeans. I don't really shop there anymore. I normally shop there for tops and stuff. Because sometimes they have really cute tops that are pretty affordable. So, one of them is just this black top here. So it's just a black top with a zipper, old zipper, which I really like. And I would probably wear this with a pair of jeans. And then the last top that I got, again, has the zipper as well. And it's this gray top, and it's really long. And it has long sleeves as well, which I really like. And I would probably just wear this to work because it has a little bit of classiness to it, and it's really comfortable. So that's all that I got from Ardeans. Like I said, I only usually shop there for a few tops. Sometimes I'll get like my sandals there or I get my sister her jewelry from there. The next place that I went to was Winners. Winners is pretty much a Marshalls in the States, which we also have as well. So I just picked up these three beauty blenders just because my black one is destroyed and I didn't really want to buy a $30 sponge. I'm hoping that these will be decent. Hopefully there's three of them. And this was only for... $13. Then I picked up these nose strips and this is the charcoal one. So they, they had the Bior ones but I wanted to try these ones out. This one comes with I believe 10 strips and yeah I haven't really seen these anywhere so hopefully these are good. So they just look like that. I picked up a couple tops. So I picked up this nice blue one and it just has like the crisscross on the back and then on the front and it's such a nice blue color. Then I picked up this top that goes off the shoulder and I think it's so pretty. I love the design on it. I'm not really one to wear patterns and designs. If you know me, you know that. So I'm really happy. I'm going to try to bring more patterns and designs into my wardrobe this summer. So I'm really excited just to wear this with a pair of tights or some cute jeans. Last thing I got was this dress and it's from the brand Roller Coaster. So it basically hangs off the shoulder too. So it looks like this, it goes on your shoulder and then like the little flurries stick out. I'll insert a picture of it because it is long and I want you guys to be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, so the last things that I got were from Walmart and these are two different shopping trips. I kind of got a lot of stuff and that's because I'm planning on filming a One Tutorial Wet n Wild brand video coming very soon. But I want to make sure that you guys want to see it. So if you guys would like to see a Wet n Wild One brand tutorial, then thumbs up this video and let me know. I also picked up two things that I didn't have that I mentioned I needed to pick up. So one of them is the Wet n Wild um, cover all primer and then the next one is the concealer. I actually found it in my shade or at least light ivory I don't know if it's gonna be my shade. I heard a lot of good things about the concealer But I'll let you guys know I actually have three now I picked up these two the other day then I picked up this one yesterday I've only used I believe soft beige and I think it was too white on me So I'm hoping that the buff color would be a little bit darker and then I'm probably going to return these But you guys saw my review on them. I'm still trying to test it out with different primers um, I'm gonna hopefully do it with this primer very soon if you guys would like to see it maybe that will help then I picked up 
this brow pencil, which I also don't have a brow pencil from Wet n Wild. I don't know how this is going to look on me. I picked up the color Burnett's Do It Better, and this is from the Color Icon line. I don't really like these kind of pencils. It kind of looks harsh, to be honest, but we'll see. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, you guys will see a review of these makeup products. You guys also saw me do a review on this color and it is Give Me Mocha and I also picked up Berry Recognize that same day and I haven't reviewed it yet and then yesterday I picked up this color because I heard that this one was really nice and this is Nudist Peach. So I'm Give Me Mocha on my lips again. I tried to do a lip treatment before I applied it so we're going to see if it lasts longer because I really do like the color and it's not super dry on the lips. It's just throughout the day kind of wear it off and it looks like weird around my lips. So I'm definitely going to keep using these though because they're very affordable. I believe they're only like $6. So I just picked up the other color yesterday. So we'll see how they look. Last thing that I picked up from the line is the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Press Powder, which I reviewed as well and I told you that I liked it. So I have already used this product. I do know that I used the foundation press powder and one of the lippies already, but that was only because I really wanted to try them out. I didn't want to wait. But then I realized how much I was buying this week that I felt like I had to show you guys kind of a haul. So hopefully you guys don't mind. The absolutely last thing is the mascara. This is the Max Volume Mascara Plus and I didn't purchase this. This is what I won from that giveaway and I am still trying it out. I know that I said it doesn't give amazing volume but I think this mascara will be good for pretty like for day-to-day -day use when I just want kind of like a natural look. So I'm definitely going to keep it. It's a bunch of skincare products so I picked up some cotton uh, rounds because I ran out of them. And then I also picked up the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask, and this is the exfoliating and pore refining one. I have already used it once and it was okay, but if you guys want me to do a video and a review on it, then let me know down below. I picked up this Neutrogena Pore Refining Cleansing uh, Cream, and this is to visibly reduce pores. I haven't used this yet, but I want to do a skincare routine very soon, so let me know if you guys want to see it. I also picked up this acne-free treatment cream that I've been using, and as well as my little sister because she suffers from really bad acne, and she notices that it in the morning, if she puts it on a breakout or a pimple or whatever, that the next morning it's actually a little bit smaller and not as itchy or not as red so so far so good I've been on the hunt to pick up witch hazel I was told that witch hazel is super drying on your skin so to pick up something that has witch hazel in it but it isn't as drying so this is the Dixon original witch hazel um, natural formula and it's the gentle one so I've used this a few times I will say it's super stinky I'm not sure if witch hazel is supposed to be stinky but when I use this, I'm like plugging my nose, rubbing it with the cotton rounds because it's so, so stinky. But it's really been helping up my skin and my sister's as well. We've been using it for a couple of days now. Last thing I picked up was this CeraVe lotion. And this is from Normal to Dry Skin. Me and Maya have been using this. I noticed that if I put it under my eyes here where I do have the dry patches, that I could wait a few minutes and it actually absorbs into my skin and makes my application of my makeup a lot better. Guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys enjoy haul let me know because I'm constantly buying products. I just never know if you guys want to see it. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below any videos you'd like to see me do in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.